Welcome back in for another video. We're going to do another jewelry jar. Jewelry bag and bagging. This one was not very much. It was only $29.99. We don't know what's in them. We found treasure. We found trash. We're hoping to find some treasure today. I hope you take the time today to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We love to find jewelry, especially when they come in a big grab bag like this. So let's get started. Also, don't forget to hit the thumbs up as you walk in the door because that really helps get the video out to more people. Let's get started with it little cut here on the end and we'll pour some out and see what is in here and i will show you my my rings very quickly in just a minute as people have requested that i show you the rings of the day or the rings that i am wearing oh i got a pair of earrings matched up so far nice so um i am wearing today not much <laughs> not much in jewelry today i'm wearing that really pretty butterfly gold Genuine gold and sterling silver butterfly dangle ring that I got from Maria's, from one of Maria's bags. Very, very lovely ring. I love that. Wearing my wraparound rings that you've seen all month, I believe. And this is an amethyst and diamond 18 karat gold. 18 karat gold. Really pretty, very unique. I love this ring. This ring actually got smashed when I worked at a bank and I closed a huge giant glass door and somehow my hand got caught in it luckily there was a jeweler upstairs and he fixed it for me but it literally got smashed while i was wearing it it was very painful okay this is pretty this is really pretty i love leather and pearls especially these they're kind of a tahitian color so that is really really nice i love that yeah, I could get used to wearing those. Pretty. All right, here's a little brooch with... Uh, this looks like it was made, honestly, this was made out of some glasses. Prescription glasses. <laughs> and they were painted and crafted. Is that not cute? That is so funny. I've never seen that. Have you guys seen that? I have never seen that craft. Here is a um, stretch bracelet. Nice beads. They actually look like milk glass, but um, not finished. That's interesting. This is a big artsy piece. Ooh, cute. Looks like it may need to be rehinged because it's coming apart on one side. This is super heavy too. And it appears to be brass and gunmetal. See, this just needs to be hooked back on there. And polished up at that is very, very interesting. Cool. Another stretch that was unfinished, but really cute too. So nice beads, like vintage beads. They are all acrylic. Oh, look, here's the, here's the craft. I'm telling you, wow. These are amazing. Way to recycle old specs, huh? Those are cute. I cannot even believe that. I have never seen anything like that. These are genuine pearls and a very nice one. Bracelet. Nice clasp. Very nice clasp on some genuine pearls. Rice pearls. That's pretty. Very nice. I love that clasp. I'm surprised it's not marked in any way. Wow. Worse for wear there, so that's going in the crafter. I'm not sure what that is. It was probably an earring. More of these. These are so cool. Okay, here's the earrings. What are these? Oh, did I get acid on my fingers? I did. I've been acid testing sterling silver. I can't tell what they are. You probably can better than I can. Got some wood beads here, just strung on some leather. Yeah, maybe rubber. Stretch, yeah. I'll put that in the hippie lot. Okay, I'll put some on that.
they're faux pearls and they're glass. <laughs> yeah, they're faux pearls and they're glass. This looks like a very interesting bag so far. Lots of tidbits as well. And we got a bolo, literally. <laughs> literally a bolo, and this looks like sterling. It really does, so that's nice. They usually don't make the back of the bolo in sterling. The mechanics of it is usually not in sterling. But this is nice. It is genuine turquoise. And uh, I like that, I like that concho. That is really cool. Even the, even these look like sterling. Yeah, I think they're actually marked. Where's my, let me go get my, I got a new crazy vintage magnifying glass with a stand. Isn't that crazy? I got two of them new in a box, they're vintage. I just like to have all kinds of things for help. And these are so They have a lot of little marks. They look like indentations and seams, but I don't see a 925 mark. Likely vintage, yeah, for sure. Probably an old piece. No marks or anything, but I can tell it's sterling. I will double check it and let you know. Yeah, I just tested it. I just tested the the bolo, and it is definitely sterling. Let me do the tips. Oh, I'm so excited. So excited. Bingo. Bingo, bingo, bingo. We got sterling in the house. Very cool. This actually looks like leather, too. You know, it's funny because it doesn't feel like it, but there's something really interesting about the sound of leather, too. Grew up around horses and Western stuff, so... All kinds of uh, exposure to this kind of stuff. This is a cool, cool bolo. Nice. Nice turquoise there, too. So, yeah, bingo off the bat. I should have used this bag for the Battle of the Bags, but we'll see. There's a Battle of the Bags. I've been challenged to a Battle of the Bags in jewelry jars. So, um, I don't know. I guess I could use this one. <laughs> no, that'd be cheating, right? You're not supposed to do it afterwards. These are so cool. Look at the cat. I think I've seen this cat before. Ah, oh, that is so cute. It's just some kind of metal. Not very heavy. A Timberland watch. Cool. It's not running though. But it's cool. Nice watch. Timberland. Wow, I am so excited about that bolo tie. This is a nice acrylic. Sometimes, I, I don't know why I like acrylic bangles. I really do. All things are possible, Matthew. Some scripture. Look at this one. Wow, we're gonna have to just line all these up so you can see. I just think of all kinds of things. There's another one. And this red one was so cute. Okay, there they are. Let's move on. Here's a big, heavy bangle. It's um, heavy, but it appears to kind of want to want to imitate ivory. It looks like it's just acrylic. Nice, though. What is this? This looks like a turtle. It's so cute. 
No, I don't see a mark, but they're very interesting little clips. They're turtles. There's the face. Wow. That is really cool. A watch band. It is a hand-finished leather watch band. Kind of a mock crop. And I don't know what this is. I think it was going to be an earring. Oh, this is kind of cool. This looks like that Scandinavian stuff I found the last time. That someone directed me to the name and everything. But the one I found was blue. And of course, I forgot the name. Found it and everything. Those are cool. Quite a few. Let me go I'll get it out in a minute. Oh, look at this. Still toggle on that. That's kind of neat. Looks like a Chico's or something. I love these caged beads. They're so cool. And these are nice too with the long caps and things. What a nice toggle. No name on it. That's a pretty piece. I like it. These are wood and acrylic made to look like metal. Okay, we're back. It looks like the volume was working better today. That's why I had to put music in my other video because the volume started, I don't know if it was the mic or what, started crackling and it was like really, really irritating in the at the end, it just got progressively louder. Oh, this is cute. What is... Oh, this is cute. Look at this fancy... Is it broken? Oh, this is like one of those fancy clasps. But it has, it's supposed to have like a little barrel right there. But it's broken. What a shame. This looks like silver, too. Where's my magnet? Let me get my magnet there. Beads aren't magnetic either. Well, how cool is that? that beautiful chain. I'll bet it's sterling. We'll test that one later. That is really, really nice. I'll probably fix that some way or another. That is beautiful. I'll have to put that aside for testing. I really think it's sterling. Little earrings. Another watch. This is a good tonno. That's an old brand. Gosh, did I chip my nails already? That's such a cute watch. Here's a JJ, and it is cute. Look at that. Look at that mountain lion or whatever he is. He's darling. He's got a little loss there, but a little color loss on the tip, but that is really pretty. JJ is kind of rare in the gold tone. I re rarely run into it in gold tone. This is pretty. This is enameled. Could be copper under there. That's really nice and heavy and pretty. I like that. Ah. <laughs> oh my gosh, this looks like one I just sold. $3.99. And it looks like a Renoir, but it is a Rebol. Rebol something. Rebois. Wow. I sold a smaller one, though. It was not this wide. This is so cool. This is so cool. So modernist. Mid-century stuff. Love it. That is awesome. Wow. Okay, definitely. Battle of the Bags all by myself here. We have won the Battle of the Bags. This is a bingo right here, too. I love copper cuffs. Love mid-century stuff and yeah it looks like it says Reboy Rebois several marks on there I'll have to look that up there are some copper pieces that are worth quite a bit of money this one is awesome it is so so heavy there's the mark there hope you can read it wow this is cool I really like it crafter piece English Okay, we got a bunny. Crafter. I don't believe it's sterling or anything, but I can't read it. I'll let you see it there. A Christmas tree brooch. Oh, pretty in the back. Pretty in the back. It's a JJ. Oh my gosh. Where did 
did I get this bag? I want to go back. I don't remember. That's a pretty one. All the stones are there, oh, too. Pretty. That's in great condition, too, this. Carnelian. And some kind of agate. That's cute, too. That's a nice one. Stones. Nice. A wrap around. That's interesting. I haven't seen one with a hook like that. These are pretty. Just wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap. And you have quite a little look on the wrist there. Very pretty. The heart on a organza ribbon. Glass. This is pretty. It's a pretty one. I just hate the organza ribbon. But that's a pretty pendant. Here is a very shiny gold, looks like. Not real gold. The cross looks like it's sterling. It's so tiny. Let me look at it. Well, I can't tell in the cross. It's got the patina. See a mark on it. And the gold chain is so nice. But um, it's not marked anywhere. It's so shiny. It looks like 22 carat. But I don't believe it is. Where's that magnet again? Well, the little cross isn't sticking, but the chain sure did. We'll test the little cross. What else do we have? Some cute earrings, single earrings. Here are some shell, abalone shell. Oh, these are for your specs. I don't wear these, <laughs> but they're cute. I actually have turned them into lanyards, though. So that's a nice set. A nice one. All right, we got the big old... Oops. I think this is a crafter piece. It looks like it, I don't know, it was either a, some kind of bracelet. Broken watch. I think it only says quartz on it. It's very pretty, but it's broken. So, oh, that's probably the bandit. Yeah, there you go. It just needs the little thing. There you go. I'll put that in a crafter lot, though. Someone else can fix that. Aw. Oh. Very timely. And what is this? Some kind of an earring. An interesting chain. Kind of a beadball chain. An antique gold color. Is there a mark on it? I don't think so. I can't make it out. Probably just a patent or something. I'll put that in the crafter lot too. People always like chains. Chains in their crafter lot. So these are cute hoops. Post. I hope to get the other one. And we got some fashion jewelry always as well. Beads. Another one of these necklaces. These were all different. We got three of them, but similar. There they are. Some are larger than others. You have to look up that name again, see if that might be a part of it. Okay, did I get the other turtle? I did. All right, so we got the two clip-on turtle earrings. Those are actually really cool. They really are. They're chunky and they're, they're interesting. All right, we got a bracelet. Like, um, oh, looks like there's a piece missing. What a bummer. That would have been a pretty knuckles. I mean bracelet. That would be a very nice one. So that's going in craft. Yeah, look at this. I need another key ring. Mini. Well, at least it's Disney, right? Yeah, it is. I have a Disney lot I gotta bring. Do you guys like Disney? I have a Disney lot. Really nice Disney things. I've got two of these. Very nice. Well, these are very pretty. I like these. They're pretty color. Lavender. Gold tone, enameling. Very nice. So we have a stretch pearl. Uh, this is in a plastic bag. It's just uh, probably a magnetic one. And it's kind of pretty. Yeah, that's an interesting look. More copper. 
This is a copper base. A little pennant look there. Interesting. Is that a crafter? This looks like um, a single earring. <laughs> More single earrings. Ah, oh, the stars. The stars are pretty. We have some broken things in here for sure. This is all bent up. So I'll stick that in a crafter as well. Another crafter. These are sterling. Do they have dings? Are those my lights? I think those are my lights. These are nice little posts. Look like they're Mexico. And they are Thailand. Thailand? China? They say 925 and then they have a name. I can't read it. I don't think it says Thailand or China. You guys can let me know what you think it says, but there it is. Hopefully we find the other one. This is a cute earring. I like that mesh. This is from Taiwan. Hmm. Made in Taiwan. Oh, I was looking at this star necklace it's cute oh i love that that is so cool i love anything with stars and suns and all that celestial stuff so cute i'm gonna break a nail just trying to open this thing oh my gosh i got i think i got acid on my nail too look it's like blue i can never get my nails to stay for not even one video that is so cute. I love that. That is really pretty, great condition. Nice and long, probably 24 inches long. Look at that, I love it. That's a nice one, that's a keeper. Here, hold on to the stars, lady, there you go. All right, wire, illusion wire, little glass pendant. And we have a Christmas tree, crafter piece. We have a little piece of um, rotocross. I was going to say rotocrossite. That's exactly what I was going to say. Getting better at these. I mean, I got stuck on, what was the other one? Rotonite, rotonite, because I had a ring at my auction. This one right here. And I could not remember. I was calling it rotochronite. That's rot rotonite, right? <laughs> rotonite. I don't know. But this is Rotocrosi. How pretty. $12 for one bead. That's an interesting one. I've never seen one like it. Not like that. You usually see kind of like a lot of banding of white only. That is cool. Beads are expensive. Here's a little arrow kids bracelet. I'll put that in my kids lap. This is... Chico's. We do have some earrings stuck in there too. They're matched. So that's nice. Kind of junky, but they're, yeah, they're going in a crafter lot. Missing a lot of color. Uh, this was, was a Chico something, but it's also broken. Very nice earring. But it's only one. And it's unmarked. Here's another wood necklace. This one's different. Where does this go? No. All right, let's pour out some of this cloth. Whoa, it looks like a lot of crafted pieces are in here. But again, oh, I, did I say it was 20? Did I say it was 34? It's actually 29, so $30. $30, I never get them for $30 anymore. They're always $50, $80, even $50 would be considered a bargain. Okay, this is the thing I was like, what is that, a garland? Look at that. I don't know. I just don't know. It looks like it needs to be in my garden or something. But it's going to go in a crafter. Oh, it's cute. It's a star. It's a patriotic star. Hope I get the other one. See a sterling finding here. At least it looks like it. Let me see what it says. It's just a couple of dings. But it's a really cool necklace. It's got lapis and turquoise.
They don't look like real turquoise. They do look like uh, Magnus oh, Light, Sodalite, and Lapis. I don't know what this is. Is there metal? That's a cool necklace. Yeah, that's pretty. That's very pretty. This does not look like turquoise to me. It looked more like magnesite. Black matrix on it. Can you guys see it? But this is definitely a lapis. Very nice. That's a nice necklace. I'll have to test this. It still looks like sterling to me, but we shall see. Nice watch. Heavy too. This is a Seiko, I think. It's a nice Seiko. Very nice. Is it working? We don't know yet. It's not running. It may be working. And what I meant was, I hope it's not broken. That's a beautiful watch. I love it. Kind of like the color of lapis in there. That is a pretty one. I'd like to see if that works. That would be nice. That's a crafter piece. Another crafter piece. Some of these things are very lightweight. What is this? Faux amber. Famber. Got a lot of famber. Here's the matching one, though. So they're pretty. They really are. Definitely silver tone. Cute. Still pretty. And then we've got some faux turquoise here on a big hoop. Hopefully we'll get that match too. We've got a guardian angel here. And more crafter pieces. This necklace is kind of cool. This one. Look at that. It's kind of cute. And it's even knotted. It's just kind of festive and fun. Isn't it? I like that. I guess that crafter piece was actually an earring. Because here's the other one. More earrings. These are interesting. These are that. Uh... Oh, these are cute. Holly Yashi. I don't know who she is. But it's that um, painted metal, almost anodized metal. These are really pretty and so light. Look at those pretty birds. Very pretty. Another single earring. I think we had these matched. Yeah, these got matched up. Looks like sterling. 325 on the bar there. Hopefully we get the match from here. Oh, look at this instrument. Tangled though. These are match too. These are cute though. So we do have some matching earrings so far. Okay. I don't know what that is. Some kind of button. It's like an 80s earring. Here's a sterling. Looks like sterling to me. I don't know. Kind of a Art Nouveau design. Let's see what it says. Interesting. No mark. I don't see a mark. Oh yeah. No, no. No, very pretty. I don't see a mark. Where's the magnet? Oh, okay. Does it, it doesn't stick. It doesn't stick. I think it's sterling. What do you think? It's beautiful. It's one of those mini ones. I love those mini brooches. Put that up there. These are some nice pearls. No maker mark on these. These are cute, though. I don't know if I'd wear them, but they're cute. Nice pearls. Really, really great. They're kind of fun. You can, you can mix them up with a look. What is this? Little fashion piece. That's cute. Little pendant. Yeah, I've got some crazy earring there. More earrings. Single earrings. Glue. I don't know what happened here. I'm gonna put in a crafter, crafter lot. I think it was a button. No, I think it's ready for the trash. Oh, it's got a lot of glue all over. Is this Mickey Mouse? No. I don't know. Some kind of crazy ring. Looks like a tree or something there. I don't know. You tell me. No idea what that. Wood and leather. And I'm not sure what that was supposed to be. Probably another craft project. It says something. I can't even read it. I don't know. But it's wood. 
It's like a piece of glass or something in there. I don't know. I'm going to put in a craft drawer. Heart, and that's probably a toy or something. A piece of a toy. Lots of junk in here, guys. Don't even know what that is. Some kind of a... Was that part of the bolo? It wasn't, right? Looks like it was part of a bolo. Let's see. But not this one, thank goodness. Right, we've got some stretch bracelet. A stretch bracelet. I don't know what this is. It looks like a broken glass or something. It's got a little chip. So I will throw that away before it hurts somebody. More broken pieces. These earrings got matched. Good. Did get some matches. I really like this earring. Mesh. Nice color. I don't know if we'll find the match though. These got matched up. Here's another crazy ring. These have to be something. What is this? A, a bird? A fox? It's a fox. It's got to be some kind of crazy ring. Unreal. Look at that. Wow. This is glass and very nice. Very nice necklace. Oh, love it. And lots and lots of facets on that one. Very nice. More broken pieces here. Tidbits. Missing. Lots of tidbits. This is glass. Very nice. Someone made these because they're making them too short. The ones that are professionally done, they're never this short. This is so pretty. These, these are beautiful beads. They're glass. Very nice beads. I'm going to put that in a bead lot. These are glass, too. Mm -hmm. I think this was a wine idea or something. You know, you put on your wine glasses. These are cute. Uh, what is this? Tangles. We've got some tangles here. We really do. We've got a nothing chain here. This looks like probably Korea. It's in good condition, actually. This one does not say anything. It's very pretty. Serpentine. Serpentine chain. I don't believe it is gold. And we have a gold bangle. That's cute. Kind of worn out, though. Lots of beads. Lots of loose beads, broken pieces, tangle pieces. Cute bobby pin. There's that um, broken earring, so this is what it was. Some interesting beads here. You're getting into the tangles now. Okay, here's an earring. Okay. Pretty, pretty beads on here. So that's a nice one. These are some kind of ceramic beads and wood beads. I'll put that in a crafter lot. That's nice. Here's that piece of sterling that broke. Well, I think it's sterling. Let's see if there's not a mark on it. With that interesting clasp. Yeah, it is indeed. It says sterling. Oh, what a shame that it's broken though because it's impossible to fix these. It's actually got a very interesting symbol. And that's where it busted, popped right nice. Too bad it's broken. This is pretty. Whatever it is, there's a tangle here. Mm. There's a tangle. If I was live, this would take forever. That'll go in a crafter lot. Missing rhinestone there. There it is. That's pretty. Necklace. It is by Hochikos. No. Loose Claiborne. Tassels. Very pretty. Oh, look at this pretty stone. That is a beautiful rhinestone, crystal, diamond. <laughs> That's a CZ, but it's super heavy too. That is so cool. I wonder where it fell off of. So funny. I think I'll put that in that little hand right there so she can hold it. So heavy. For such a tiny little stone, it's super heavy. I have noisy bracelets on today, guys. I'm sorry.
Venezuela. What is this? A little souvenir. Very old brooch. Looks like it has maracas or something. I can't tell. This actually looks like sterling too. Looks like something was missing though. I don't know if those are maracas. It could be something else. Hey, Venezuela. Some kind of earring there. It's a hoop. Big black hoop. I've only been on 39 minutes. It seems like forever that I started. This bag is intense. These are tangled up. And I'm going to put them both in a craft lot. Oops, there's the other one. Well, now they can match them up. These are cute. Has a little coin. Um, I think this holds up pants or tucks your... your blouses or something like when your t-shirts are too big i don't know i'm not sure here's a crazy watch it's called i touch tangles 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 and this is a gold tone hoop another earring an acrylic ring i think i actually have another one of these operation lifesaver I actually have another one of these. I don't even know where I got it from, but there it is. Here's a gold earring. It looks like it might be real gold. Oh, there's two of them. Are they matching? Oh my gosh, that would be fabulous. Probably They're probably Vermeer. I'm just saying that because they're all gold, even on the stem, so I always check those just to make sure that um, what we're looking at could be gold filled. Could be 14K, bingo, 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 bingo. Awesome, and they're both here. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Why didn't I, why didn't I do the battle of the bags with this bag? Oh, I don't know, I just, cause I have to watch somebody else do the video before I get comfortable doing it. I'm not sure how to do it. But wow, we 14 karat gold earrings, nice. And they actually have a little weight to them. Let me show you where they say 14K. They write it so small. They really do, but it says WJ 14K. I wonder what WJ stands for. And there it is on both stems. I hope you can see it. That's awesome. Again, guys, always look when they have the stem in gold as well. Many times they're 14 karat gold. Many times you only get one. I'm so excited to have both. And sometimes they're they're gold filled Sterling. with that gold overlay. But these are solid 14 karat gold. I am so so happy about that. These are a little bit too small for me. I don't think I'll wear them, but I will sell them. Well, that was worth it. That was worth the tangles. There's more tangles. $30 bag. That is awesome. I can't believe they didn't check that. I'm telling you, they told me once they just scoop out the jewelry. I know they do in some places. But we've been to other sort of stores where they're back there looking at every little stupid thing for with a with a um, magnifying glass. And even then, they lots of things fall through the cracks. Don't give up. You will find treasure. You will find it. Oh my gosh. What is this rope? Single earrings here, but they're plastic. I'm gonna put them in a crafter lot. They're not even worth listing or selling or anything. Key ring. Okay, this is an interesting earring. It is not silver, so it's going to go in the crafter lot, too. Oh my gosh. And this, how did this get in there? It's stuck in there. Where are the scissors? I gotta cut this cord. I'm going to cut this cord. I don't care. Yep, yep, yep. We're going to cut it. I know, I know, I know. I'm going to put that in the crafter lot, though, because it's got a nice little 
What is oh look, it's like got everything tangled up. I had no choice. I had to sacrifice something. Something had to give, and that was it. I mean, what is it? See, it's nothing. It's just a necklace. You can start untangling some of this. And we did get this matched up. They are faux, but they're cute anyway. All right, so we did get a necklace out. Acrylic beads, gunmetal, very cute. Nice cranberry color. Okay, what else is in here? Oh, the rest of that cord is still in here. But I sacrificed it. Now oh, that must be another one. Oh, that's another one. Oh my goodness gracious. I think I got one. Okay, we got this one out. Very pretty, actually. It's kind of open. It's open work. Cut work. Nice design on that. Okay. Got a rhinestone. Got a rhinestone bracelet. That's pretty. We got these matched. These are glass. Pretty. Let me unhook one of these. Let's see if it helps. <laughs> Still tangled, but that's it there. Multi-strand necklace. Kind of glass beads interwoven with a little faceted one as well. There. Boy, this is tangled. Really tangled. Okay, this one came out. Looks like just a gold tone kids necklace. Wow. This is taking forever. Oh my goodness. Finally it came apart. Very, very long necklace. I thought it was multi-chain. Oh my goodness. It has it ended. Wow. That was tangled. I thought it was all going to be dangling off of one end of the necklace. It's got crowns and hearts and all kinds of things on it. Oh my goodness. Now I'm going to tangle it back up. It says wisdom. This is pretty. There we go. Oh my goodness, that took forever. We still have this cord. I'm going to cut this cord too. God, with the cords. Just a cord with charms, but the charms are going into a crafter lot and it will be better for it. Look at that. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, and I will put those two ends in a crafter lot too, so someone can make another necklace. Oh my gosh, that was a mess. The black one's cute, but I think it's broken. That's it there. I'm not even going to untangle that. That is so cute though. This is also tangled, and I don't know what it is. Look, some kind of interesting necklace. And look at the hook. I think it might be for glasses too. That's so weird. And this has kind of a lariat style too, bolo style. Very interesting. The gold on it looks kind of rosy. I'm curious about it. I may have to test it. It actually looks like moonstones. I don't know, I'm curious now. Especially with the style. It's like a low carrot gold to me. I don't know this style with the with the the moonstones and the garnet looking stuff. I actually had a baby ring pop in a jar once, and it had a jeweler's mark on it and everything, and it was ten carat. And it was moonstones and garnets or rubies. It was a baby's ring. It was so pretty. I wore it midway on my pinky for about a year and then I sold it. There's an interesting necklace. Whatever it is. Okay, there it is. That's very interesting. There is a mark there. Wow, what does it say? 
D and C. <laughs> D and C or D. Does that look like gold? It does and it doesn't. So strange. Look how long it is. And this travels all the way around it. Looks like something was here. Maybe another dangle. It is weighty. Let's see if it's magnetic. It's not magnetic. It's not magnetic. It really looks like 10 carat or uh, 12 or something. And it's not. Magnetic. Maybe something to that effect. I don't know. We'll test it. Because I'm very curious about it. Could be gold filled. Could be gold plated. Could be a low grade gold. 8 or 12 or something. Because look how interesting that is. And those do look like moonstones. They don't look like pearls. They look like moonstones. And I don't know. I don't know what the other stones are. You guys let me know what you think. Reminds me of that baby ring. So another interesting piece. Wow. There's a ring. Let me, show you. let me look at that ring. And that's marked too. Let me look at this. That looks like a lot of CZs. Cute. It's marked on the inside, but I can't read it yet. It looks like 925. It's some kind of a gold plating or something. But there is a cartouche. Looks like it's a little faded though. I don't know. I'll have to. Not, uh, that's a nice ring, too. Look at that. That's really pretty. I really want to go scratch that one, too. I just don't want to wake up my husband again. It looks like it could be a plating or something. Cartouche in there. I can't make it out. It does have a cartouche and some marking. I don't know, but I'm, I'm happy to have it. It's really cute. Wow, that was a long, exhausting bag, but wasn't it worth it? I think it was. What did I do with the 14 karat gold? Earrings. Oh, here they are. Got some 14 karat gold earrings, sterling silver, turquoise bolo tie with bo with sterling tips as well. Leather bolo, amazing. The pearls with leather were fabulous. This ring was fabulous. This CZ right here, I don't know what it is, but it's super here. I'm going to have it set on a ring. Look how pretty that is. Amazing. I am so impressed with it. I'm very, very happy with it, especially with this, because this will triple my money of the bag, which was only $30. Actually, more than triple my money. Wow. I'm super happy. That God. tangling was up. was worth it, because there was quite a few interesting things in here. Well, starting with the bolo, the, the pearls, and then the gold. Amazing. I can't even believe it, especially that these are even matched. That rarely happens. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to come back very soon for another one. And if you haven't subscribed, today's the day to do it. It's always a free subscription. It's on the right of the screen, and I'll see you soon. Bye.